But first, family and friends of James Hollenbeck are still coming to terms with his untimely death. Hollenbeck was shot and killed on August 21st while walking near his home on Olean Street. As police search for the gunman, those who knew him well are also searching for answers of their own. News 10 NBC's Patrick Musinak talked to one friend who is keeping Hollenbeck's memory alive. Patrick? Funeral services were held yesterday for James Hollenbeck, who was a local musician. I talked to one of his bandmates who tells me it's tough to know that he's no longer among us. I would love for whoever did this to, to understand the impact that they've had on hundreds of people. Matt Berry feels the pain of his loss after longtime friend and bandmate James Hollenbeck was shot and killed here on Olean Street just over a week ago. A memorial was set up near the spot where he was found. Barry says Hollenbeck was one of the most caring guys he's ever met. He always went out of his way to give to other people, to provide for other people, to make other people know that he was there for them. Not much is known of what led up to the shooting, but Barry says Hollenbeck loved going for late night walks near his homes. He always loved his, his midnight walks. He'd, he lived nearby the, um, the Genesee River, so he would take bike rides and walks down there late at night all the time. just clear his head. He always loved gazing at the night sky. Barry says Hollenbeck, who played keyboard, was known for being a musician on a local heavy metal scene, one with many talents. He played accordion, he played ocarina, he sang, he, he was able to write guitar music without knowledge of how to play guitar. It's, his musicianship was just so diverse and, and so well-rounded. Monday, family and friends attended Hollenbach's funeral. It was amazing to have so many people from so many different circles come together and, and celebrate James. It was great to see so many people, both familiar and, and new to me, um, just showing love and hugging each other and embracing each other. And that's, I think that's a lot of what we've all learned together through, through this tragedy. Today I reached out to Rochester police for any updates on this fatal shooting and was told unfortunately no updates at this time.